Good morning, Warren Peacock here. Uh, we can see that the two commodity currencies have lost some ground over the weekend. Uh, the Australian dollar down to a score of five overall from nine, and we've got the Canadian dollar down uh, four from eight. Uh, both of those are on the smaller time frame, so they have fired shorts. Uh, the daily trends on those two are still reasonably weak. The biggest gainer is the US dollar. Uh, it's gained five points over the weekend. But the yen is still pretty strong. Uh, the four hourly chart giving now a score of five. So it's up three points from last week Thursday. Uh, the daily chart still on a, on a score of four. So there's a bit of Japanese yen strength coming through. Uh, and the US dollar looks to be ready for recovery now. We've got the hourly charts up to a score of five from zero. Uh, the four hour charts are still only have, uh, have a score of one. So we'll have to see whether that US dollar strength continues. Overall, we have the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen as the stronger currencies, with the Canadian dollar being the weakest. Uh, on the daily, Euro US dollar is still the downward trending chart. Uh, the four hour chart sees the Swiss franc and yen strongest, with the pound weakest. Uh, and the hourly sees the dollar and the franc uh, strongest, and the Australian dollar weakest. So we can see these commodity currencies under a little bit of pressure. If we go and have a look at the charts, and we'll start with the Canadian dollar Swiss franc. Um, I have taken a, a short on this one. The channel has been broken. Resistance was found at the 89. Averages have crossed over. So everything looking reasonably good for a short on the CAD Swiss franc. The CAD yen, uh, not a great looking chart, but there is a little bit of internal support here. A break below that. I uh, could see this one selling off a little bit. If we go to the history of the chart, it's not a great trending pair. Uh, but certainly there are trades available in it. The Euro US dollar uh, still trending strongly downwards on the daily. And we can see it's got a bit of a, a double top over here. We've got the bearish engulfing last week. Uh, today we've seen a little bit of continuation there. Uh, we'll have to see whether it can actually hold below that support level if we go to a shorter time frame. Uh, we can see volatility is very high on this pair at the moment. Uh, that support level is not fantastic, so we don't have too many areas lining up. I can just put a line in. Uh, okay, so we do have some internal support, but the resistance didn't hold uh, at the moment. Um, I'm not too keen on this just yet. The pound to the Swiss franc, uh, that continues to, to be weak. If we just have a look at the daily chart, we can see that's also crossed down. A uh, little bit of support holding up over here. Possibly a break below that support level uh, would put me short on the pound franc. Uh, we'll have to see how that works out. But on the four hourly chart, uh, we can see a little bit clearly we've got a uh, we've got nice double bottom over there, but we have a widening pattern, so that can go either way. Uh, we'll have to see how it works out. The pound to the Japanese yen, uh, again, high volatility. Uh, which is quite common with the pound pairs. Some high volatility, I'm not really interested in that for trading. The Aussie dollar to the Swiss franc. We are looking here again, very similar to the CAD Swiss franc. Uh, commodity currency selling off resistance at the 89. Uh, franc is showing strength and the Australian dollar and the CAD are showing weakness. Uh, so I've got a small short on this one as well. And if we just go and have a look at the internals uh, just zoom out a little bit we can see there's a bit of support holding over here but certainly under pressure uh, so the Australian dollar Swiss franc uh, is looking short the hourly chart is where it was weakest uh, we can see there's volatility but that trend is, is pretty clear at the moment uh, possibly a break below support level would put a short or maybe a return to the 89 or some form of resistance the Australian dollar to the US dollar continues to trend downwards. Uh, pretty clean trend over here. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Uh, so we can see that the, there was a trading opportunity at the moment. Uh, I'll just be waiting to see what happens with it. If we go up a time frame, we can see that it's really in consolidation. So I'm not too excited. Uh, on the daily chart, again, we can see there's still a lower low, but we have now have a higher high, so widening pattern. Anything can happen on this currency pair. Thank you guys. We'll chat again tomorrow.